with the average link 1D, you can link a 1D property, like for example the opacity or the rotation of a layer, to not one other value, but actually to do two different values, and it will always obtain the average of the two, so like the middle of the two. To show you this, I have here three copies of this uh, Marmo World logo, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. And we want to link the opacity of the middle one to the opacity of the left one. So we select the left one here and click here to link it to the first and the opacity of the right one and link it here. And if you apply this to the middle one, you can see when this one here is as a uh, opacity of 50 and say this one has an opacity of 100, this one is exactly in the middle, has a value of 75. Yeah? And if we go down here on the right side to let's say 0%, this one goes down to 50. Yeah, and this is really a live update, so whenever you change this here, this value will be exactly in the middle. Now, of course, this can not only be done with uh, uh, opacity, but also with other properties, so let's quickly look at rotation, R. Yeah. So I undo these two links here, and this time I link to the rotation of the first and the rotation of the last, and now have the rotation of the middle one and apply it. And now you can see if I start rotating this one here, this one also rotates, but only half as much. Yeah? And now the thing I didn't explain yet is this balance parameter. With this balance you can control how much influence has the first and how much has the second. In this case it's 50%. But if I tell it, uh, set it for example to, to 10% yeah, and apply it again, then you can see when I uh, rotate here this layer, this one will also rotate a bit, but not very much. Yeah? It will basically stay uh, more with this layer, because it has 10% influence from uh, this one and 90% influence from uh, the other one. And on the other hand, if I start rotating this one here, it will follow not 100%, but quite a lot. This is a little bit better seen in this example, uh, where we have more than two logos. Yeah, we have here the left one and the right one. and let me again, or let me just reset this here, yeah, and say we want to follow the opacity of the left one, and we want to follow the opacity of the right one, and now we choose this middle one here, and set it with a value of 50%, apply, and then we take this one here, which is more to the right, yeah, so we set it to something like uh, 75%, if you want to have it precise, you can also enter the number here and apply it with 75% here and with only 25% roughly to the first one. Yeah? And if we do this now, you can see if I go here, uh, let's just do a quick ramp review. So the opacity of the first and the last layer here are animated by keyframes. You can see that the ones in the middle always follow their neighboring ones. Yeah. So, in other words, since uh, since this one here has an influence of 75% of this, this here only 50% and this only 25%, they cause a nice gradient between the opacity of this one and this one. And of course, this does not only work with rotation and opacity, but with arbitrary 1D properties.